Now I'm going to show how you feed your yellow Jaguar cable um, through the frame and out this little hole here to be able to go in your uh, cable inlet for your rear shock. So when the bike comes, it comes with this little white tubing already installed inside it. And we're going to use the, um, the inner wire that comes with your system and we're going to use that to help us feed that cable through. So what we're going to do first is we're going to feed our inner cable inside the little tube that came with the bike. Feed that through just to help us feed the other way through. That way we, we don't have enough room to tape it or do anything like that. So, so now we're going to take this and we're going to feed that into our wire here. Feed that in there. We feed enough through there so it comes out the other end. So now it comes out the other end of the wire so now we can use that to help feed that through. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull and put that in the tubing there. This particular inlet is wide enough to fit a five millimeter wide cable like this inside it because it was made to be able to use it for this uh, Jaguar cable. So I'm just going to go and we're going to start feeding that through and we're trying to feel for when it starts to come in. We're feeling for under here for when we're starting to get that yellow cable. Feeding it through. Until, until the yellow cable exits out the port. And that's how we feed that in there. Once we have that in there, now we can pull the inner cable out because I was just using that as a guide. And now we have to take this one over here a little bit. Now we have to take this part that we've exposed and stick it inside the cable inlet. So we got to kind of get the length right first, pull enough cable through. Then it kind of makes it kind of makes a interesting bend here to be able to get that in there. Have to bend that in there. Get it in there and then get enough the cable in. So it gets in there just right. Okay, good. Now our cable is in. And that's actually one of the hardest parts of the whole CTD process is getting this cable fed through in the frame and then into this cable inlet. Okay, in setting up the CTD cabling for the rear shock, you can see I have the cabling coming out of the twin lock, coming around the frame, inside the frame, and then outside the frame here, and you can see there the little place where it comes out right there outside the frame and you can see where I've got my little black mark there where I'm going to cut it. How I came up with that is I basically just rotated the handlebars around nice and tight and see if the cable was still going to be long enough to let the, uh, let the, the bars wrap around themselves. And I also wrapped it the other way to see how well the cable did wrapping both ways. So that seemed to be a pretty happy medium as far as not having too much cable or not enough. So that is how I'm going to route the cable and that's how I measured how far and where I was going to cut it. The problem was you can see in this little device right here that it is very narrow and it's too narrow for this yellow cabling. I had to actually strip it down to the to the white cabling underneath to be able to get it fit in there. So when I cut it, I'm going to have to strip it back about a half an inch to be able to get it to fit inside 
this junction right here. So um, let's go ahead and cut the cable. Okay, because the CTD uh, for the rear shock is the cable uh, inlet is very narrow and it wouldn't accept this yellow outside cable. I'm going to have to uh, trim back the yellow section and just expose the white undercovering so that this section can fit into the CTD for the rear shock. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this yellow section out here uh, with this X-Acto blade. Okay, once we have our rear shock cable in the frame, we're going to start feeding the inner cable through it. First of all, we're going to put one of these little black ends that come with the cable onto our twin lock. And we're going to feed that in there before we start feeding the inner cable in. Okay, we're going to start feeding our inner cable for our rear shock right here. So what this does, it feeds in to the back of the twin lock feeds in this hole which goes into our cable I'm just going to pull that all the way through it goes in there like that and we're just going to start feeding our inner cable through until we feel it stop at the shock and now we're going to pull it through, through from the other end okay as we're feeding the cable through here you can see it should exit right there so we're feeding it from the top we're going to pull that cable all the way through until it stops right there so now we've got our cable fed through now we're going to have to wrap it um, around this blue thing and there is a little set screw that we're going to tighten against on the other side Okay, you can see where our cable comes in from the other side. I flipped the bike around so we can see where we're going to have to put this set screw in here. So the cable comes around the other side, wraps around this blue thing. You just kind of feed it around, and it tightens up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little set screw right in here to lock it down. Okay, now I'm getting ready to put my set screw in here. I just put a little dab of blue thread lock around there off that excess then we're going to grab our cable now the first thing we need to make sure is that our um, twin lock is in the most released position so uh, just make sure you hit the bottom silver button so it's released all the way back before we lock this down so put a set screw in here and tighten that down with our two millimeter hex and get it nice and snug and that's it it's nice and tightened on there now we can watch it engage. There's first click, second click. One release, two release. And that's it. The last thing we have to do is cut our cable here. I'm just going to cut it with a little bit of cable sticking out. I don't have one of those fancy cable cutters, so I just use a Dremel cutter. I'm going to cut that off right there. looks ugly but you can actually twist all these back together again okay now that I cut the cable I'm just going to stick one of these little crimpers on the end to keep our wire nice and clean and we're just going to take a, I just use this and crimp it Got a couple of crimp marks on there And that's on there nice and snug. Okay, we're going to get started with putting on our front fork twin lock. And first thing you obviously need to do is mount your twin lock uh, device on your handlebar. Um, as you can see in here, I uh, kind of did things backwards. I already have the rear twin lock um, already uh, installed. But you can see the one on top is for the rear shock and the one on the bottom is for... Um, the uh, front fork. 
So the first thing we're going to do is uh, install your twin lock levers. Okay, after we've got the levers on there, now we're going to go ahead and um, get our fork ready to um, have the cable in the correct orientation. Okay, when I got my front fork, it was in this orientation right here. And what I figured was that I actually need this uh, cable import to actually be for pointing out the front because I want my cable to go like this and come up and meet, meet the front handlebars. So we're going to have to take this apart and twist this around so it comes out the front. So what we do is we take a 2.5 millimeter hex right here and oops, let me get my hand out of the way. And that pops up this little blue thing. So we're going to take the blue thing out. It may take some pressure to get it to pull out, so we pull that out. We're going to pull our spring out, just to show you the parts. We got a spring, and then we got a little sleeve in the middle, and we're actually going to leave that little sleeve down on there. Now, the next thing we have is this black ring, and this is what allows us to put uh, this in a different position. So, like I said before, we don't want it like this, we want it out toward the front, like this, so that our cable will come in from the front of the shock like so, and go up to the front handlebars. And I'll just show you that for a second right here. So we want it to be something like, like that. Let me back up a little bit here and show you. So we want it to be like that. So it comes from the twin lock, and it comes down around the cable, and then it comes into the front fork like that. Okay, now that we have our little, um, spacer in there, we're going to put the spring in. We want the spring basically facing in the same direction as the um, cable inlets because this little prong in the bottom is going to fit into one of the little holes in inside here. Let me see if I can kind of show you that. It's got little holes on the inside there so that little bottom of the spring is going to fit in one of those little holes. And what we want to do here is have those holes go in there with that aimed up there, approximately there. Now we're going to take the little holes in the cap here, that little hole there, it's got to line up with the spring, and sit that over top, kind of just rotate it back and forth till we feel it, get into that little hole, okay I felt it go in, so now it's in, so what I want to do is put a little pretension, so we're going to take it from that position we're going to turn it, put a little pretension on it. We're going to turn it to about that position right there. So the little set screw should be about 270 degrees from that with a little bit of tension. So there's already a little bit of tension on there. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten down our 2.5 hex again. Let's get my hand out of the way. See there when I tighten it, uh, that's the position that it moves. So it moves from this position to that position. The cable will come down the tubing here, wrap around this blue thing, go under the set screw, and we'll go from there. So let's uh, show uh, putting in the inner cable next. Okay, I'm just going to go through how I came up with the measurement for uh, my tubing for my um, front shock. So I just took a longer piece of uh, Jaguar yellow tubing uh, housing and I put that in the um, twin lock cable insert there. Then I ran it around, it comes around the front and it's going to go into here. So all I did was kind of approximate where I was going to put the cable and then I rotated the handlebars back and forth and we'll show you rotating that back back and forth. Basically, I just rotated the handlebars back and forth to make sure I had enough cable that when the when the when the handlebars are rotated, 
all the way around, there was enough cable. So back and forth. And what I realized is what I came up with is to just get that distance right there. And then I mark it with a Sharpie. And I just mark it and cut the cable right there. Okay, now we're going to feed our inner cable into the twin lock that goes to our outer housing that goes down to our fork. So we just have to feed this wire in here through this little blue thing. It goes in there like that. And that's going to go into our twin lock housing here. We're just going to push that along. Okay, I see it coming out the other end. And we're just going to pull it, pull the cable. It comes through. And you see our little grommet comes through, and that should sit right in there like that. So now we're ready to hook up our um, cable to the other end. Okay, here's where our cable just come out of the other end of the housing into our CTD for the front fork. What this does, this goes and wraps around the fork like that and then we're gonna tighten the set screw down just like that. So what we're gonna do, again, I am going to use a little bit of thread locker. So I'm gonna pull out my two millimeter hex nut here. Looks like they put some on there, but I'm gonna put a little extra. off the excess. We're going to get that started in the hole. Then we got to take the cable, wrap it around, pull firmly from the other side so it wraps around the, um, the housing really well here. Okay, so we're going to wrap that nice and tight. Make sure it's all the way in that back position. And we're going to tighten down our set screw to lock the cable in place. Okay, good. It's locked in place. All we have to do now is cut the cable. Let's just show that working in place first. Two, two, and two. And that's working good. what we have to do now is cut my cable and put my little cable end on. I don't have one of those fancy cable cutters, so again, I'm just using my Dremel tool. Okay, now it's cut. Then you can usually twist these ends to make them look all nice and neat again, which I will do before we put our cable end on a cable cable organizer. Okay, looks good. Cable end on our cable crimp, and then we're going to crimp that on there. Okay, and there we go. It is working great. It's activating both the front and rear shock at the same time. The other thing you can do is, let me just move up here to the twin lock, is that we can use these little adjusting screws to um, actually create a little bit more tension or back on it depending on where you want it so I have that set pretty good right there just lock that down and now we're good okay here's our finished system so we got our twin lock up there and we have our cables coming down first one goes down into our fork 
Next one comes down here, goes down in here, and it goes into our frame. Exits our frame. There's a little hole underneath there where it exits the frame and goes into our shock here. And we're just kind of show both of them working here. So there's the there's the rear one. And here's the front one. So that's it. Kind of livens up the bike there with those yellow cables. And that is the installation of our twin lock CTD for our Fox front shock and our Fox rear shock.